Hi, I'm Kevin Smith from Trailer Boat TV. Just arrived back in Cleveland after spending a day on the water um, in uh, Moreton Bay, and uh, we've been out testing the new Haynes Signature 575F. This boat has been primarily designed to suit sort of the hardcore fishermen, although I must say, to me, it's quite a versatile boat where it actually suits families as well. Well, we went out, we put the boat through its paces, a full day on the water, which is quite unique because normally you only get a few hours on these boats. Previously, we had tested the 575 RF. Now, that was a fantastic boat. We smashed that thing out at sea in horrendous conditions. It performed like an absolute machine. This boat is no different. However, there are a couple of changes with this one that take it sort of to the next level where it makes your fishing in that a bit better and a bit more easier on the entertainment side with the family. One of the first things you'll notice in particular is the height of the cabin. They've gone up a couple hundred mil here and this makes a massive difference when it comes to getting in and out of the cabin and actually having it as a usable space. Overnighters, hiding in it from bad weather, throwing the kids in there if they're naughty and it's even got a sliding door to lock them inside as well which is fantastic. It's come back a bit as well. Now that's not really a worry because it's only a couple hundred mil again, 180 to 200 mil and it still leaves you with really good room on the fishing side as far as deck space is concerned. A few other notable changes would be a 220 litre fuel tank so long distance on the bay or offshore whatever is no issue on this boat. And then the kill tank is also really sizable at around sort of 180 litres. So quite a few fish and quite long fish can fit inside this uh, kill tank. Another in interesting sort of feature and a new design of the Haynes Group is their folding bait board. This board is hinged and it actually folds forward enabling you to trim the motor up without smashing your cowling, which I suppose happens to quite a few people. The new seating is a standard feature as well on all of them. They've also got new seat frames, a whole new design of a seat frame that takes a couple of different size eskies below, and it's fully adjustable, up and down, and obviously sliders moving forward and backwards. The new dash system unclips, makes it easier for installations, putting in the electronics, etc. You've got really good vision when you're seated, and when you are driving standing up. You can see everything clearly, which is something that I really like. Strength is another really good key point to the new Signature 575F. They have double skin liners and they're foam filled. So solid on the water, solid ride, it makes it quieter and it's just a dream to drive. Once we got out on the water this morning, it was an early start. The bay is a different place to test boats because it can be relatively flat. You get days where there's a bit of chop, but we had a bit of a mix of conditions today. From out of the hole, the boat jumps up nice and quick. They're running 150 horse Suzuki on the back, so there's no issues when it comes to power. They're nice economical motors, and it's a really nice match on this boat. It's a good boat when it's thrown into turns. It doesn't lean hard into the turns, which is Quite a nice feature because that's something that can make people sort of feel a bit insecure on boats. It gently rolls into a turn, you don't feel like you're going to fly out of the boat and when it comes to cutting through wakes and chop and things like that, well the plank design on the hull, besides it helping it get on the plane, also does a good job at sort of softening and cushioning the ride. Something that I really do like about these boats. On the spot when we were out fishing this morning, there was four of us on board. Stability at rest is really good. That is when you're on the plane and up and running, and especially when you are sitting back and fishing. We were all working plastics, everyone was moving around the boat. It's not something that you pick up as an issue on this boat, far from it. There's good tow holds underneath as well. If it got rough, you can hook your feet in. And another thing that I really like about these boats is the high gunnels. Some people might not like it, but I think it's a fantastic safety feature for when you're offshore fishing, as well as when you've got the kids on board. I've got kids and it's definitely something that can work for me. It does taper down towards the stern and make the stern a little bit more accessible when it comes to bringing fish on and off. 
So overall, it's a really, really good package. The Signature 575F, well, what more can I say? We've put it through its paces and it's an absolute weapon on the water.